some large organizations choose to send their logs in two different routes. Those logs that have security context, those that are useful for detecting malware anomalies, etc., are sent to Curator. But those messages, those logs, those events that carry only an informational context, meaning I want to keep those, I want to search for those, but they really have no security implications, are sent to other pieces of infrastructure, often called data lakes. What's the main reason why, why people do this? Well, simply not having to pay for EPSs when there's no correlation required. But then, by having this dual approach, searching and reporting has to be done on both places, and that's very that's not good. That complicates matters. Also, these the data lakes can be security exposure of, of their own, and you have to add and maintain and administer uh, additional infrastructure. In fact, some people joke that uh, some organization has drawn, drowned uh, themselves on some of those uh, data lakes. Uh, but again, uh, I don't want to pay for EPSs that bring no security context. Well, it will be very nice to avoid this complication and send all the logs into Curator and have Curator parse, classify with the rich taxonomy and therefore make all the events searchable being put into nice uh, dashboards, but only do correlation with the security ones and not the informational and therefore only have those security related events add to your EPS count. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, I'm going to show you how we see that can be done with Curator today. Also, once you bring all that nice data into Curator with all that taxonomy and all that good stuff, that data is also available to other systems from Curator via Curator's API. And I have done some videos that show how you can search basically anything in Curator from those APIs. So that's really the best of both worlds. I only pay for what brings security but I can search everything and, and storage is uh, cheap. So I want to keep everything. I want to search everything with the same taxonomy, same place, same UI, same searches, but pay only for those that bring security value. To do that, in the admin tab, you simply have to go to routing rules. Let me bring this here to the center and you add a routing rule. You give it a name, a description. Where are those logs getting into? In my case, I have an all-in-one, so it's only uh, one option here, but if you have a distributed environment, you can select where these logs will get. And then the important part is here, that you are gonna be selecting from this rich combination of properties, what is it that identify that log source that is informational only? I don't want Curator to correlate event. And as you can see, it's very easy to select the characteristics of that filter that you will put in here. Once you've done that, all you need to do is click here in log only. And when you do that, you get a warning and say, you know, Understand that if you are doing this, there's not going to be any correlation. Notice this, the, the event bypassed the custom rule engine and no real-time correlation or analytics occur. If you agree with that, 
then what you will be doing is actually have those been parse collected made therefore searchable in curator but no correlation will occur and therefore it will not count to your EPSs. That's all you have to do. And also, when you do this process, this thing is audited, audited uh, within Curator's log. So, in order to make sure that if, if somebody complains, why, why Curator didn't detect this or that? Well, if somebody made those, label those logs informational, then they bypass the correlation engine. Also, when you do searches in Curator, you have a field that is the log only field. Let me actually go here in the columns and you can actually display those logs in here by looking at the uh, log only log only column and then you can search those. One point that is uh, uh, important to mention, there's a small caveat. If you have, for example, an event collector, an event processor or whatever, that you are getting this log to and the capacity of that appliance is, for example, 40,000 events per second, these events that are informational, that bypass the correlation engine, still are going to be impacting the performance of the box because they are being parsed, they are being analyzed, but you don't pay EPSs for it. But just keep that small caveat into configuration and you can start you know, uh, eliminating those uh, data lakes uh, from your environment.